Hey y'all, this is your girl Sharice, and I'm back with another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, today's topic is um being loyal to a fault. Sometimes we cannot, and forgive me with my little hat. I know I be sidebarring, but it is what it is. I like my little hat. But anyway, I'm coming to y'all with being loyal to a fault. Um, sometimes we can be loyal to a fault. And what I mean by that is it can read as you being desperate when you too loyal, when people are making you feel bad, when people are making you feel, um, belittle, when people are making you feel less than, and you still stick around and you still support them, and people mentally abusing you, physically abusing you, and you stick around, that's what I mean being loyal to a fault. And sometimes that can take away from you. That can take everything away from you. That can take your mind. That can take your body. That can take your soul. My suggestion is run fast from people like that. Don't be loyal to a fault. Being loyal to a fault reads desperation. It totally reads desperation. Let me put a little thumbnail in here. It totally reads desperation. So don't be loyal to a fault. Don't let nobody misuse and abuse you and take you down. You know, and it can happen over years. And to be honest with you, it's just the small things. You're like, oh, okay, well, maybe they was having a bad day. Or, or you think, oh, that's just how they is. Don't allow that. Don't allow that. If you get any inkling in the window that you don't feel right about what a person is doing to you, start if you're in a situation like you're in a marriage, start preparing yourself to get out of there. I mean, if you're going to stay in there and be loyal and they're mistreating you, you might as well stay there and prepare yourself to get on and have a good foundation when you do get on. You know? So if you're doing that, prepare yourself. Save you a m little money here and there if you can. You know, maybe start selling a little candy. Put a little one or two things to your to the side. I don't know how financially stable somebody is. I mean, if you're dealing with somebody mad rich and you have a little money, get you a separate savings and bank account and don't say nothing about it. But prepare yourself to get away from those type of relationships. And I've talked about this before, which is toxic relationships. But this is on a whole nother level. This this one is about you. This is about keeping your sanity. This is about keeping your mind. This is about keeping your heart together. Because you don't want to tear yourself up in the process. Another thing, especially if you got kids, you don't you don't want your kids to, to, to think that that type of behavior is okay. Because it'll 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 create a pattern of of a cycle of abuse where where they think that that oh that's love or that's respect or that's how you treat them you don't want to let your kids your peers your elders or anybody have that distorted image of this is how a relationship you could have younger girls looking up to you especially if you're a nice looking woman or you're a nice looking young lady you could have not even just that you i mean you don't have to be nice looking let me not say that um so please forgive me for that but i mean just you can just you know be a role model you, people can look up to you you don't know who's watching you and you don't want to give them or that person that impression that the behavior that you allowing is okay because it's not it's not okay at all you know, and you have to speak up for yourself. I mean, even this one is small thing. Now, if you're in an abusive relationship, I don't, um, I don't advise you to, to do that. You know, abuse is on a whole nother level and you want your life. You want to be able to keep your life. You go that on those type of levels, you got to, um, act cautiously. You know, it's good to be cautious with yourself, not say much, move a lot in silence, do a lot of moving in silence. Sometimes it's best to not even tell the kids that you guys have together because they're loyal to both of you guys. So at some point, if daddy asks this or daddy say this, what you have or what you have going on, it could be thrown out the bag, you know, and now you rat it out. Here's a whole little abusive thing. Now you being extra watched. So, you know, abusive relationships are very serious and they're nothing to play with. And it's a psychological thing that goes along um, with them. It's, it happens over time. It's a buildup of um, a person like that that's um, 
has uh, dehumanized a person over over a period of time. Um, he could have started off as like small things and then, you know, grew to bigger things. And now this person is all psychologically caught up and they're feeling like they don't have nowhere to go. And even at that standpoint, if you are in a future relationship and you're watching this, you have somewhere to go and you have something you have somewhere to go and you have plenty of resources and it could start off with just a simple comment on my page or even um inboxing me or maybe even emailing me and i'll make sure um on the next couple of videos that i put my email um below but there's resources for you too but my point is and all this is don't be so loyal to a fault that is compromising your sanity is compromising your growth is compromising your spirit his compromising your mind, his compromising your family, his compromising your children, his compromising your relationships, his compromising your growth. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. And it's okay that if you feel stuck, if you feel lost, if you don't know what to do, that's totally okay. You're not a bad person because you're stuck, you're lost, and you don't know what to do. Sometimes these situations we're growing through, we're learning as we haven't dealt with it before. Even if we have dealt with it before, try to find the pattern to find, to figure out why do you continue to go through this. Well, this is your girl, Cherise. I want you to spread love, positive vibes, be blessed. I'm out there.